are talking the Arbors. Uh, this one is directed by Clayton Whitmer and it stars Drew Matthews as Ethan. Now, Ethan is a strange individual, very introverted, quiet, almost kind of um, somewhat of a kind of maybe he looks like he has some type of mental issues. It's never really addressed in the movie. But he just seems like he has major anxiety and, and things like this. Anyway, and uh, he lives in this kind of small rural community and he is on his own, has pretty, pretty much a dead end job, very quiet, no real friends and things. One day he notices a deer on the road, a dead deer. And it appears to be infested with some type of parasitic creature, like a spider-like creature that uh, he ends up taking home with him for some reason and puts it in a kind of a box and, you know, wants to do something with it. Ultimately, this seems to be some type of alien life. We have the, the you know, the guy, the government guys from the, like, looking from E.T. kind of obviously looking for it and, and things. Uh, inevitably, this creature starts to grow, escapes, and goes on a killing rampage. And only really Ethan knows about what the truth is and maybe has a connection to this particular creature. What will happen? You'll have to watch the movie to find out. So... Let's talk about what works. This is a kind of bizarre film in, in many ways, but bizarre in, a, in an interesting way, um, because our protagonist is so unlike pretty much every other protagonist from films. It makes for an intriguing mystery where I was kind of wanted to see where it was going, because even though and I'll come on to some issues I have with it, even though this, this character, I've got to be honest with you, is kind of unlikable. It made for a journey where you didn't quite know what was going to happen because this guy is not heroic. He's not particularly likable. You know, he doesn't really have much in the way of kind of redeeming qualities without kind of going into, you know, true villain mode. But he's very selfish and... Uh, and, and makes questionable decisions. But as such, it means that the film, you don't, you don't quite know where the plot is going. It's not something where you can say, ha ha, I've seen this a bunch of times. So it makes it for a somewhat an interesting story because it's so, it's told from such a different kind of perspective, if that makes sense. I'll give props to the actor as well for giving, giving a strange performance with his character, Ethan where you know you i guess you kind of feel sorry for him to a, to a, to a point um but he's just like very strange without really hitting you over the head saying oh you know he's autistic or he's got this or he's got that uh so yeah it, it is kind of a somewhat of an original um idea now we have this kind of creature but that's, it barely features in the film, to be honest with you. So if you're expecting a, a creature feature, so to speak, uh, it's not really about that. That's just in the backdrop, and it's kind of the cause of drama between Ethan, his co-workers, and his, mainly his family, his brother, uh, sister-in-law, and, and niece, and how he's kind of interacting with them. Um, so... You know, it's certainly an original film in some ways, I would say. And I like the, the fact that uh, the, the, the paranoia, I mean, this, this movie's sort of going on and people are dying and they don't really know why. And, you know, Ethan is usually the only person that knows, but doesn't tell anyone for some reason. But um, it's, you can see the paranoia eating up at people. And that's, you know, I think it's a true reflection of what happens, fear causes people to make irrational and uh, irrational decisions to kind of strike out at what seems like uh, you, know, you know the nearest kind of likely suspects so to speak and I think it's obviously commentary on on kind of real life and stuff and, and how that affects it um, and as I said I think the acting is, is is pretty solid here as well what doesn't work for me is it, it, it's just, it almost is the kind of the flip side of the coin of, of what I liked because I didn't really understand 
the the motivations of our main character Ethan. So I don't really know why he took this cre this like dead animal, this creature inside home with him. I don't really know why he didn't kind of report it to anyone straight away. I really didn't know when it ends up killing the first part, it kills it kill someone that he sees. Why the hell did he decide to cover that up and uh, and again not tell anyone and almost like in in you know implicate himself in a death where it was clearly some type of animal attack uh, and it's all things like this and as the film goes on you never really know why he's doing things and the movie does not give you any answers to that the movie also is very meandering um, and you really feel like where is this plot going now like I've said I was somewhat intrigued by it but the truth be told this this doesn't have any kind of real like massive you know reveals or or amazing kind of plot twists and things like this it's just like this guy this guy who seems, seems to be squirming and um, just looking after himself ultimately it, it makes for a, a bizarre viewing experience um, the creature itself is mainly CGI and unfortunately the CGI looks quite bad in, in, if, I'm, if I'm honest. There are other logical issues as well outside of the character of Ethan. We have these um, government agents that seem to um, not be able to run away, not be able to kind of communicate on radio uh, and things like this. We, we're getting very little explanation about what the creature is, where it's come from, why it has its connection, apart from one little uh, nugget. Um, but it's it's the movie doesn't really tell you anything. So it's kind of like an, an interesting film. I, I did find this movie interesting, um, but I, I also found it very frustrating because it just didn't make a lot of sense to me. And I think the movie just expects you to kind of go along with it. And um, but it doesn't seem logical with it in many places. And obviously, without logic, you, you just have to draw your own conclusions about why the character or the story is going in certain, in certain directions. It's, it's interesting, but I've got to say, it has some quite severe weaknesses. I don't really think I, I will see many people really loving this film, but I found it morbidly curious to watch this film in a, in a weird way. I'll give it a four out of ten. Uh, it was interesting, but I don't think it's—I don't think it's anyway a particularly great film, if that makes sense. Four out of ten. Have you seen it? What did you think of it? Leave me a comment, and I'll look forward to it next time. Bye for now.